Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and today we're going to learn how to install Hotjar on your Shopify website. Now, I'm on the Hotjar website right now. Let's walk through, create an account and then we're gonna install it on your Shopify website. So I'm gonna go in, gonna insights, gonna register myself. So just gonna Sam Baldwin. I'm gonna put key PPC, just like a random email address. Awesome, get started. Awesome, set a password. Uh, it doesn't matter too much for me. Oh, it wants me to do a better one. It's okay. It really wants me to set come on, uh, one uppercase character. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. My role, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, no. Uh, key surface organization size. That's fine. That's just they want to collect some data on you. So don't worry too much about that Okay, let's put in my website Site type e-commerce I just want to confirm that I've got the right domain. This is my my Shopify site here. Yep. I've got the right one awesome um, And then start using Hotjar cool. It's now going to bring up the dashboard and we need to now install the tracking code Okay, so with Shopify, um, it's going to connect in really easily. So let's try this. So uh, let's go verify installation. Oh wait, so I got to get the tracking code here. So click click that button, and then it's going to open up this. Go to tracking code over here, and we're going to copy this. So copy to clipboard. Go back to Shopify. Go to your online store. Go to themes on the left hand side. It's then going to load the themes bar here, and go actions edit code. We're just going to edit a little bit of code in the theme. So theme.liquid. So make sure you click this one here that says theme.liquid. This is the, the like basically like the home sort of the main file for your theme. Now see this, it says head there. We want to put it in this section here, but I like to put it at the end, right before the end of the head section. So I'm going to, going to um, scroll down till I see the head there. And then I'm going to make some space and then paste that bad boy right there. Boom, hot jar tracking code for keysurface.com. Click save. Now that that's saved, we go back to verify installation, make sure that your URL is correct and then click verify. It's gonna then open up a page and basically run, um, test it. So it says hot jar installation verified. So it's now been properly installed on this page. Browser site in this window, if you wish to verify installation on any other pages, that it was totally fine and that's done. So boom. You've got it all uh, verified. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, that's cool. So now um, we go over to heat maps and uh, it's already started a heat map here, which is really, really cool for the home page. Um, it's collecting data. So that's going to start doing it automatically. Let's go check recordings as well. Cool. So now it's just starting to record and it's going to record the first visitors too, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's now jump in and have a look at some existing heat maps and recordings so you can see the actual potential of this app. Okay, guys. So here I am on some of the heat maps that we've generated for, for a client that we're working with. And you'll see here that it'll actually show, you know, the heat where people are really clicking. This is a mobile version, for example, and where people are touching when they're selecting different things. So a lot of people hit, of course, add to cart. Um, and they select accessories and stuff like that. And you'll get a scroll down and see even people are really, you know, clicking that video, of course. Uh, that sort of thing, clicking through reviews. It's really, really fascinating. You might see that people are going to a certain part like, a lot of the time. They're really congregating their traffic in a cer certain part of the page. Maybe it's they keep going to the review section. So maybe that tells you, hey, they really, really care about reviews. Well, most people do, but especially for your niche. And we have the recordings here. So let's just take a look at some of these recordings. What this does, it records the visitors on the site. It's really fantastic. It uses some JavaScript and some stuff. I'm not sure the actual technicalities. I'm not going to pretend I do. Um, and, it, and it recreates their journey. So you see here, this is watching someone scroll through on their mobile. And it actually shows where they stop, where they scroll to. And you, it's going to play them one after the other. I recommend sitting here with a notebook and take some notes. Like what, what, what story does this tell you about your customers and about your website? You know, do they go straight to a certain section? Maybe the frequently asked questions. Do they keep going and trying to find the shipping information? Maybe they really want to know how you're actually going to ship this to them, how long it's going to take. This can tell you, uh, hey, you need to put this a bit more at the forefront of your brand at, on your product page 
to make it really clear to the customers and answer these questions for them. Anyway, guys, that's it. Start collecting some heat maps and some screen recordings and, and get some stories there that you can really use to craft your product pages so they're better and better for your e-commerce site. Guys, if this video was helpful in getting you set up with Hotjar on your Shopify site, please hit the, the like button. Just leave that, click that before you leave. Otherwise, if you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments. If you want to learn more about growing your e-commerce store, I make a ton of videos on this sort of stuff, all the marketing, how to get traffic, how to find products, you know, all the parts of growing a successful e-commerce store. So check out my channel, consider subscribing. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.